Yeah. That's it. How is everybody today? You well? Yeah. I'm quite excited because something I had no idea about. Today is uh, we're making Pokemon lollies today. We're going to try and put a picture of Snorlax in the middle. I didn't know this, but there's a bloke here who's uh, running around the city hunting Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Ah. Apparently it's, what is it? Go Fest. Go Fest. Go Fest. Is that like one of those monthly events or is it oh, different? No, it's the yearly. It's yearly. the annual ah. Go Fest. Is it just Sydney or is this global? This is the Sydney one. It is, it is global, but it, it, it goes by time zone, so it's in Sydney. So right Sydney, now. we come first, maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you got a little bit of a bluey, greeny mix of snow oh, like that color. Oh, that's mm. nice. Uh, we just only love it very much. A tiny bit of black in your sure. colour. Hopefully this won't take us very long, yeah. but if anyone's got any questions, please ask. We love talking about us. Yes, we do. And Pokemon, if you know anything about Pokemon, share your Pokemon. This is our favourite Snorlax is your favourite Pokemon? It's my favourite fat boy, yes. Your favorite what? Fatboy. Is that a special pride? It's the chubbiest Pokemon there. Is. That's, that's, that's the whole allure. What's Fatboy? You can buy pillows to sleep on that are Snorlax on. Yeah, but hang on. You say yeah, your favorite. Really are they rather Fatboy Pokemon? Is that like a far few? Yes, but Snorlax is the fastest. Is the fattest. Is the fattest. And the lazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see that on that camera, but this is quite a beautiful teal with mixed blue and green to get this color. I love it. It must be one of my favorites, yeah. Batiste and I have had a little bit of a chat on how we're going to do this, but uh, we're going to kind of make it up as we go along. So just there, and you're going to go, can I watch? Nothing. Other than the food. It won't go everywhere, but it's still like you can shape it. Uh, in terms of temperature, it's probably about 85 degrees. I'm not going to be measuring the temperature of it though. Right, right, right. But we can. It starts as a liquid, and technically speaking, it will be a liquid all the way through the process. Right. But we're going to get it to a point where it's so viscous, it's like a modeling clay or right, yeah. um, And it won't take very long. You can see it's, it's, no, it, it's already kind of a rubbery. Really quick. But that's because we're now running water through this table. So yeah. cooling the candy very quickly. It's very soft and sticky. Oh, he said it. He said the word. Soft and sticky. We should have a thing where you get like punched in the arm if you say the word sticky during a live. Oh, yeah. Punch in the face. Punch in the face. Knock your teeth out. We do not advocate punching in face. Uh, we're going to be moving off this table now. This table's done its job. Our candy's cooled really nicely. Down can to about 80 degrees, something like that. Can you say hi to me? My name is Shia. Hi, Shia. Hey, Shia. How are you, Shia? Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're well today. Shia. Nice yeah. to Shia. So we're going to stretch some candy. You can have that one, Batiste, and go for your life. Uh, it's midnight. How do you know when he stops stretching? Tell me. Uh, what he's looking for more than anything else is the shininess. It's not just the colour. As it gets pulled into these, you can see the long strands. Yeah. So every time he throws over the hook, it multiplies the long strands by three times three times three. It's exponential. So you end up with literally billions of little strands of candy. The light reflects off it. And so it goes to this really beautiful, bright, shiny satin white. Uh, it's the colour, it's the, it's the shininess he's looking for more than anything else. Okay, so there's no really given number of anything to do with Just wait for that colour to come out. You're, wait, you're waiting for that colour to come out. Now we got way too much black, that's okay. Black or...? Uh, no, it's all the same flavour. In this case, it's oh. blackberry lemonade. Uh, colour and flavour are two completely separate processes. So, I'm going to do this. Do they blend to each other? Sorry? Do they blend to each other? Like, do you avoid certain colours with certain flavours? Um, we do our strawberry red. Yeah. Because people kind of expect that. But no, there's, there's no real reason to do that. So, so mm. the same. So, I just want to have to come down a bit. Yep, so that's going to go over there. Sorry? How long is the process from start to This will probably take us something like uh, 50 minutes. This is, should be a reasonably quick lolly. It shouldn't take us too long. Uh, I'm going to make some tea. And how long have you been making candy for? 20 years, man. 
Social media saved us, and now I'm standing here making Snorlax. <laughs> so that, that's that's yep. just a short summary, but that one. Okay, nice. So it doesn't remember. And, and then we'll need a second white one at this stage, just to make a teal one, looks like that. Does that make sense? Is this a family business? Yes. Is everybody family? Everyone who works his family, but there's no better description of what the business is. It's a small business here in Sydney. It's owned by my wife and I work in it. Do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> so that one goes there. Do you practice on smaller scales, like when you're before you make the big one, or do you? No. Nope. Practice. No. Wing it, make it up as we go along. Some things we've done before, obviously. So you really kind of have to do a method. How long did it take you to learn the art? Oh, still learning. They say it's a 35 year apprenticeship. Oh, okay. <laughs> still going. How long did it take you to learn the art before you started in the shop? How long did you learn the oh, I spent before? six weeks training, which wasn't, isn't, isn't enough, but it was enough to sort of properly think I could do it. So I'm going to switch spots with you, Batiste. We're just going to roll this round. Okay. Yeah? Um, what we want to and do while we're rolling around. I don't know, that. I'm going to donate $700 to successfully make this. I bet you won't, I just say. $700? Thanks if you do, but I'm yeah. pretty sure you won't. We won't hold you to that. Because I'm feeling reasonably confident. I think we're going to make this. Still access is the hardest part of the world. I think that's a ditto, isn't it? Uh, I've heard that's ditto. What is the worst burn you've ever gotten? Uh, I burnt all the skin on the back of my hand off. I need to see that picture too. Have you never seen it before? No. Oh, really? No. Oh, Dad definitely got it on his phone. I do have it on my phone. Cautionary tale for young candy makers. Do you get it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> so you are um, on a uh, video call to my nan in Pakistan. Sorry? You're on video call to my nan in Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh, Where are we? Is she in Lahore? Where is she in Pakistan? Uh, Karachi. Karachi. Okay. Who is not, who's asking me, is this a factory? I'm like, no, it's a shop. It's a, it's a <laughs> shop. shop. Like, like, a very small Look at this. Factory. It's a so, small shop. You're gonna roll this. Once again, I need to keep. Do you want to give that a bit of cool for me? A little bit of cool over here. And if I call that the center. Yeah, that's the center. And I call. Alright, so you're gonna turn, we're gonna do a wrap out of that. Final cleanup stages, are we? Sorry? Are you moving to the. Oh, yes, we're, we're so close to being done now. Last little bit, we've just put his ears on. We've got one layer to go, what we would call the casing on the lolly. We've got this teal colour to go right around the outside. It's never worked with fondant. I can't say what working with fondant is. Not really anything like it. It's a bit like. It's a bit like plasticine or Play Doh, but not even really that. It's big and it's hot. When it's soft, it's nice. When it's firm, it's awful. Uh, it's fickle. It doesn't like you. It will punish you for your mistakes. It looks like Snorlax wrapped in a blanket. Hopefully, if it looked like Snorlax at the end, we'll be wrapped. Here's the stretch master. Here's a lyrical answer. Okay. Okay. Up the hey. Hey. Do you doubt me? You look very skeptical. I'm not. I'm not skeptical the whole time. Did I? That's why I'm feeling a lot of doubt. It's my default setting. That's just this. <laughs> Is RBF getting? It uh, won't be long. We just—it still needs a little bit. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifique. <laughs> what is the name of your shop? This is sticky. It's sticky. It's a shop in Sydney, Australia. We're in the rocks under the Harbour Bridge. There, is, there is a sticky probably closer to you somewhere, depending on where you are. But this is the one in Sydney, Australia. The original, the original, the OG, baby. La base. A little bit of a thin casing, so it's a little bit chippy. It's good looking small egg though, if you ask me. Size, you give a taste. I'm going to hand some samples out. But I hope you can see this at home. Can you tell me if this is alright, Annabelle? Yeah. This, this, Snorlax. Yeah, there we go. There you go, Snorlax. I'm in Florida, but I'm addicted to your channel. I have been for weeks now. Can you say hi, Landon? G'day, Landon. How are you, mate? G'day, Landon. How cool would a peacock look? It would look pretty cool. We should do like a stained glass. Oh, so good. That'd be so pretty. You looked excited when I said that. Yeah. Um, how did you get the name Sticky? After many sleepless nights and agonizing over what we should call the business, I don't know how we ended up with Sticky, but... It's not that easy to name a business, I have to say. And Sticky kind of... It was a little bit cheeky, it was short so that it would be memorable. It's said that we... Uh, 
didn't want to take ourselves too seriously. And you want, I'll hold it up. That's it. That's our, that's our sign off. That's our Snorlax, part of our Pokemon mix to go with all our other Pokemon lollies. Thank you for your time and your patience. What's up? That's it. Uh, stay kind and clever and look after yourself and the people around you. And we'll be back next week on YouTube and other places on other channels tomorrow on Instagram. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube video today. If you like what we do or want to see more of it or even just want to be notified when we go live, consider subscribing and hitting the bell when you subscribe so that you're notified when we go live. Thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest.